here at News Hour. President Cyril Ramaphosa has signed the Competition Amendment Bill the law. It aims to strengthen regulations against anti-competitive behavior in industrial markets. Now, Economic Development Minister Ibrahim Patel has campaigned fiercely for the bill's codification. So what are the implications? Well, Chris Charter from Cliff Decker Hoffmeyer joins me in studio. Chris, thanks indeed for coming in. It's a pleasure. So the, the broad intention here is to actually make the playing fields for smaller upcoming black businesses in particular uh, to actually get a fair game here and probably even prevent the, the big boys from swallowing them up. How does it aim to do that, the bill? Yeah, so you're absolutely right. I mean, that's, that's overarchingly, that's the policy framework here. It's to, yep. is to drive inclusive growth. Um, and I think the big, the big shift in emphasis is away from pure competition issues and more into how can the economy be, be improved so as to create, as you say, an opportunity for small businesses and black owned businesses in particular to thrive. And that's really the, the, the purpose of the, of the amendments. Um, it does it a number of ways. Uh, first and foremost, I think, and most importantly, it uh, creates, uh, it really resets the rules of engagement for big firms when dealing with smaller suppliers and smaller customers. So it introduces new rules regarding uh, how you sell downstream uh, to small customers, uh, and it sets new rules in terms of how you procure. Um, and I think that's probably going to be the most interesting aspect of the bill. Uh, the, 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 the clear shift towards focusing on small businesses and black-owned businesses comes through also in merger control. Uh, there's a now specific requirement for the regulator to look at the impact of mergers on small businesses, on black-owned businesses. The market inquiries provisions now also makes it a specific imperative to consider uh, how, how markets are functioning with a particular view towards uh, opportunities for smaller black-owned businesses. On, on that, Chris, uh, in the lead-up to the signing of this, you had many saying, well, hey, you might have too much ministerial intervention uh, when this bill plays out. Uh, should that be a fear for investors? Um, I think that's for investors and more probably for, 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 for lawyers, <laughs> frankly. It's, it's a fairly esoteric concern. Yeah. Um, the, the ministers always had, uh, particularly the current ministers, had always a lot of uh, interest, and perhaps vested interests, in the running of the competition authorities. There's nothing new in that, and it's been working fairly well. Um, I suppose the, the strict legal concern is that uh, when, you, when you provide powers for a minister, you don't do that for the, for the sake of your minister who you trust. Um, let's imagine a minister five years' time who uh, has very different uh, aims. Um, so I think there is some concern there. Um, but the powers are not, not untrammeled, and there's always rights of appeal and review through to various uh, statutory bodies. Will it be too alarmist to say, well, look, we're on this investment drive at the moment. The president wants to uh, get billions of rands and dollars into the country. Um, is this a hindrance in any way? Um, I think ultimately, no. Look, it's a great South African tradition to, to panic every time there's new regulation and it's the end of civilization and investment. Um, it's, it's never really happened. The truth is, uh, if there are opportunities to be had commercially, um, and that really is a function of, of macroeconomic factors, not, not regulation. Then, uh, in my experience, I've never seen uh, regulation trump that. People find a way to, to work within the regulatory paradigm. Um, I think ultimately, if this, if, this, if this amendments work, what we should be seeing is great opportunities for business to, to really mine a, a value chain that has perhaps been underutilized in the past. Yeah, and I think that's a very important point, if I can close with that. I mean, really, we got our eyes on the big players and their procurement processes. They, they should be buying from the smaller players and, and upcoming black businesses. So that will be an interesting space to watch. Uh, it, it will be. I mean, I think it's, um, I mean, it's very hard to argue with the, with the policy. Uh, I think the challenge is going to be when the rubber hits the road to make sure you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, a lot of big firms remain very competitive, not only in our market, but, but globally. And uh, as much as you want to encourage business to deal uh, more fairly and squarely with, with smaller companies and black-owned companies, it shouldn't be at the expense of an efficient economy. After all, you can't have inclusive growth without growth. Indeed. Well, Chris, thanks very much indeed for coming in. That was Chris Charter of Cliff Decker Hoffmeyer.